Welcome back to the channel. If you've been looking for a content calendar or sort of a Kanban board approach to having con managing content inside your WordPress website, you get a ton of authors, ton of content, your magazine, an online publication, uh, you're just doing a, a lot of content in WordPress, Publish Press Planner might be the plugin for you. They have a free version and a pro version. Today, we're gonna take a look at their free version. I'll give you everything I like about it and then tell you the one thing I don't like about it at the end of the video. So stick around, let's dive in. I've got the plugin installed and we're gonna look at the very first sort of feature, uh, the way that you can see content across your WordPress site is the content calendar. Really just gives me that calendar view of all the content that's been published on any given day and I can punch into it and see you know, particular um, details like is it a post? Is it a page? Maybe there's a custom post type, dates, all the the, in, the informative metadata one needs with some quick access links like directly edit the post, trash the post, and view the post. So again, if you're just doing a lot of content and you wanna see when something is planned on a calendar, uh, what, what has already been published, the calendar view, very straightforward, very easy to use. You can filter this stuff by drafts, by categories if you had it, by tags if you had it, authors, and again, you're really gonna see the value in this if you got a ton of content and a ton of people working in your WordPress website. Content overview, uh, more like an extended version of the posts and page um, views or admin dashboards. Again, you can filter, customize the columns and what displays here. Something tells me you might not spend a lot of time on this screen, uh, but the calendar view, you definitely will. In their new content board, I think you definitely will, especially when you're planning this stuff out. Even if you're a solo blogger and maybe you work with contracted editor or a virtual assistant, this view is super sweet and super fast to be able to do things. So you can move things. Oh, this got published. Well, actually, maybe we'll put that back in the pending review column or let's bring it down to uh, the draft version. That's changing the status of that uh, content on the fly. So if this were to move up to pending review and you, you needed to review it, you could just drag that right over to publish and it's done. So if you have somebody drafting content for you, editing content for you, you can be the one that makes the shift to a publish uh, view without even having to go inside of the post itself. I think that this new feature is fantastic. Get a thumbs up uh, from that. In fact, one of the great features that this plugin adds to posts uh, inside your WordPress website is if we go into this post, uh, I've already te tested this out a little bit, but you can see right down here, we have some editorial comments. So you can chat back and forth with the author, you know, to refine things and to edit things. And, you know, fantastic, nice uh, feature, not overly complicated, uh, you know, threaded comments, simple. Uh, you won't be having like Slack conversations in there, uh, but certainly like check this headline, check this uh, part of the of the post. Fantastic feature for that. And you can see all of those comments in the editorial comment section. So you, as the admin of a site, if you have uh, other editors and content writers going back and forth and chatting, you can quickly search and find those conversations happening in one view. So that's really good as well from an admin perspective. And then there's a notification section where you can set up custom notifications when things happen as you move status around with uh, posts in your website, uh, with comments happening, and all of that can be configured in the settings side. You can set the individual notifications here, and when a certain action happens, like when to notify, when an editorial comment is added, when content is updated, when the content is moved to a new status, and then you can define which content and then who to notify. Are we notifying everyone, uh, particular users, certain uh, access roles, and then what's gonna be in that notification email. So really well thought out. And again, if you're doing a lot with guest authors, this is a fantastic way to keep track uh, of all of the content happening in your site. We can get really granular with the settings in this. I won't go through every single piece here, but you have access to uh, sort of change up the way content calendar, content overview, and the content board uh, display some content the notifications, how and where and when uh, folks are gonna get these notifications, editorial fields, editorial comments, do we wanna turn those on or off? And then some other features for enable features. You can kind of hide this stuff, or excuse me, disable the stuff or enable the stuff if you don't want certain things to happen, like uh, notifications, for example. So all for free. 
And that's the underlining thing here. If you go to Pro, you can see right here on the right-hand side, Slack integration for notifications, send reminder notifications, like you haven't updated this post in a while or you know we've been asking you to to look at our uh, comments please do so use post meta in notifications remove publish press ads and branding uh fast and professional support and that's the only thing the only thing i don't like about this free about the free plugin is the consistent upgrade banner i'm not against upgrades at all by any stretch of of the imagination. I would like this one to kind of go away or be able to dismiss this because we'll always have a persistent upgrade to pro um, in the admin settings and then also in the in the sidebar here. So I think they'll have plenty of opportunity to uh, upgrade to pro. It's just always there and I can kind of feel it just looking at me and there's nothing wrong. Like for $59 or uh, $69 it is very valuable plugin. I would like this one to be dismissed because uh, I know that eventually I'm going to need that Slack notification. A lot of, you know, websites who are doing a lot of content may, might be using Slack in their business. Those are the things that are going to be like, okay, this is, I need this now. Like, finally give this to me. I, I, I did it for free for a little while. And now I want those notifications just to hit Slack. I don't need it to go to email or whatever. Um, but that's the only nagging thing I have uh, with, this, with this plugin. I think it's got a fantastic use case, especially for the content board. I love the fact that we can draft stuff. We can make sure people review it. Authors can move it to review. And then your editors can come in. Love it. Great, great stuff from Publish Press. Check it out. You can download it, install it for free. Go to the Pro Plan for $69 for one site. You can see all the features down here, Planner Pro um, versus Planner Free. Check it out, publishpress.com. If you like today's video, thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want more. It's hot, man. It's hot. Summer's coming. And uh, I work in a, my office is in my attic. So we might not see this light on for a little while. Okay, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel just for that. Thanks.